an issue I have with this industry is that sometimes the developer experience is pretty poor. And I, I like to develop, you know, I don't feel the need to become you know, a manager or managers and such and so forth. I like to develop, but I don't like to develop when the feedback loop or the, the workflow or the developer iteration is a few names for it is terrible. So let me tell you what's good. Good is something like PHP. Okay, I know PHP, PHP. But you know, with PHP, it was beautiful, right? You save the file, you reload the browser, and um, it was there, you know? It, it was less than a second, quite easily. Uh, you know, with, with incremental builds with make, it's also usually quite fast. You know, you can do some sort of I notify wait hack or something like that. Um, and, and similarly, I would argue that, you know, projects like Ruby on Rails and maybe even Node.js to some extent, the fact that they had this like hot reload uh, mechanism made it, developers flock to it and use it. And that's why a tribute to the success, right? Meanwhile, I would say, you know, in 2021, how many times have I seen it where you have to like, you know, build a Docker image, upload it somewhere, get Kubernetes to deploy it. And, you know, you're wondering where minutes of your life went to just to find out you have some sort of YAML error or something like that, you know, some sort of syntax error. That's, that's the norm, right? And my, my beef is that we're like, I don't know, like with the metrics that we focus on typically um, at the workplace are like, you know, MTTR, mean time to, to um, recoverability or, um, you know, the change failure rate, the mean need time to changes, the deployment frequency, the mean time to restore. So, so all th these metrics, these DevOps key metrics, you just, just search around for them, you'll find lots of literature on it. It ignores developer workflow, which is key, absolutely key. It, it's, it's key for developer happiness. You know, from a management point of view, it's key to getting things done. Seriously, so why aren't we focusing on developer workflow? Please, I mean, and another big thing while I have you guys is anytime I come across a project and you can't locally build and run it, that is a complete disaster off the bat. That is a complete disaster. That's like, like uh, what do you call it, Joel's test. No local builds? Oh, okay, it's a complete fail. So I hope we can start opt optimizing for developer happiness i.e. getting speed iterations down. This is why I'm, I, I really like Go for the most part, because the Go builds are fast using Gojin or something like that. It's really nice. But how many times have I seen it where it's just terrible? And this is what I really want to focus on, and not these four key metric whatever DevOps things. I want to focus on developer iteration speed. Thanks for getting this far. Comments below.